Welcome to another episode of Between Two Pints. I'm your host, Rob, and with me today is Shauna and Mandy, the Mocklin sisters. <laughs> yes. And we actually had you, Shauna. We had you on uh, Between Two Pints earlier, where you talked about a number of things, including your podcast. Which I do with this one. Yes, and it's called Dark Entries. It is. Yes. What's your What was your latest podcast about? The last, oh Actually, God. the last one we did, we had a special guest. We had a local horror director, Ariel Hansen. Oh, yeah. wow. She came on to talk about her recent movie. Uh, what was her recent movie? Ready to Burst. Ready to Burst. It's like a Cronenberg yeah. pregnancy, pregnancy movie. Ooh, pregnancy's kind of alien. Horrifying yeah. and yeah. disgusting. It's already gross already. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh. terrifying, especially as a male. Oh, especially as a female. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I don't well, know about just, that. <laughs> well, you, you ladies have been doing it for thousands of years. No, that's personal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that old, <laughs> No, no. Hey, but you let go of your beer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Bad. But now today, you're actually here to talk about a live show that's taking place October 1st, mm -hmm. 2016 in Vancouver. We are. That is correct. Uh, it's the Abracadaver Cabaret, now in its seventh year. Excellent. So. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, it started uh, seven years ago, funnily enough. Um, it was Melody Mangler, Shauna, and I, and we realized that there wasn't a really scary burlesque show in Vancouver nope. come October. It's usually, there's a lot of Halloween shows, and they're all really, really wonderful. But at the time, there were no there was nothing that was shows. yeah there wasn't anything focused on horror. It was mostly just you know, jack o' lanterns. Yeah, and, ooh, skeletons. You know, again, awesome. sexy cat I, costumes. I, I, yeah. Yes, I mean I love it, but <laughs> but we wanted to scare the but hell out of you. You do a podcast on horror movies. Yes. <laughs> And actually, now that I have you on the show, what's your favorite horror movie? Or at least one that's on the top of your head. Oh my god. We can answer um. that at the end of the show. I'll give you, I'll give you a few <laughs> minutes think to think about, about it. it. Yeah, yeah. All right. But yeah, let's, so let's talk about that. So it's it's uh, it's October 1st in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. I know actually my friend and a, and a guest on uh, Between Two Pines, Jesse, might be involved a little mm -hmm. bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you were telling me you're actually hosting most of it this year, which is a, a bit different. Yeah, usually I'm actually one of the burlesque performers because usually it's a mix of magic, theater, and burlesque, and it's all interwoven with sort of an overarching story. So you're getting all this magic and naked chicks and really amazing stuff, and it's all packaged up into a story that you can follow, and then it's not just your average variety show. Yeah. But usually I'm one of the burlesque performers, but this year I get to host. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of funny because we made our audition. That's yeah. mean. Yeah. That's cold. Yeah. Well, I mean... So did you like run around behind the table after you were done auditioning and be like, I don't know, Shauna. Yeah. She's not really doing it. Uh, she went to my apartment and hung out with my cat while I we did. talked about it. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Did your cat judge her too? My cat judges everybody. Yeah, that's what cats do. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. a gremlin, really. She's hideous. I'll show you a picture. She's Sounds like my kind of cat. Horrifying yeah. looking. Yeah, it looks like a Jim Henson creation more than a cat. I've, I've actually mentioned to the people at the SPCA that I volunteer at that uh, they really need to describe the, the honestly, because some people yes. want hell beasts. Yes. They yep. want like I evil, got her from the SPCA. soulless monsters yeah. that hate everybody else. It's like, that's the cat for <laughs> My me. kind of cat. Yeah, we yep. saw her on the SPCA website, actually, that's so adopt a cat or yes. a dog or a hamster or yeah. a rat. I don't They'll know. They'll kill your enemies for you yes. and yeah. judge you. But uh, we did make her audition. And yep. That's wonderful. She had to come and back. mean. Well, it was, it was, she gave us a video audition too. It was very, because <laughs> yeah. I was like, I don't want to actually do it in front of them. So too, that was too nervous. It was actually right yeah. after we did the photo shoot for the poster image, because every year we've worked with a local horror photographer, uh, Danielle Anathema. She does the most gruesome, beautiful horror photography ever. I've seen some of the photos <laughs> and uh, I definitely gruesome is what I used to describe. <laughs> I love beautiful that. photography. Yeah. Kind of fucked up. Oh, yes. Yeah. Extremely. She's, yeah. she's, oh, she's so good to work with and she's been working with us since the beginning. Wonderful. And this year we were doing the photo shoot and I had a lot of prosthetic makeup on because the poster image is us recreating the old painting called The Nightmare. And it's a painting of this woman like, oh, laying on a couch and there's this horrible gremlin sitting on her chest. And then there's this horse head coming through, I don't know, a closet or a curtain. Yeah, it's a curtain. Yeah. Wow, and crazy. Yeah. yeah. So I was wearing a lot of prosthetic makeup. So I went home and I was like, well, we're just going to do my audition In wearing the makeup. Because it scared the hell out of Melody Mangler. Yeah, it did. It was hilarious. Awesome. We were getting ready for the shoot and just, you know, setting up the background and Melody was just running away from her because she kept trying to like pinch her and yeah it was just... on a different note you mentioned that it has a story every year which I think is really cool I love like shows and performances that you know can encapsulate something in a story yeah that's what we found the first year we did it we didn't have the wraparound story like it was not so much an anthology it was mostly just you know a cabaret show and we found that having a wraparound
background story, audiences like that a lot better. So mm-hmm. it, it helps, I don't know, feeling like there's a narrative journey. Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. So that's what we've got this year is it's, yeah. since the theme is nightmares, is going to be about, you know, back kind of like when you were a child and how terrified you would be when you were put to bed and what possibly lurks in your closet or under your bed and now while we were talking you know, before the cameras yeah like like can we give hints like can you talk about what you because you both have roles in it yeah like what would they learn in the first two minutes of it like now because i know you also mandy are, are sort of yeah i'm helping out <laughs> <laughs> i'm most i'm usually mostly behind the scenes producer i would say and writer yeah well, oh yeah yeah <laughs> Because all, all the theater bits are usually written by either myself or Mandy or, or Melody. Yeah. Um, every once in a while, we'll get a piece written by David Quast. Yeah, usually someone from Spectral Theater. We have a lot of Spectral actors who yeah. end up in the show. Spectral and, Theater, a Vancouver yeah. staple. Yes. <laughs> and I believe last was it was either last or the year before, we had a piece written by uh, another local horror lady, uh, Billy Taylor. Yes. Who wrote the script for uh, A Gift for Amelia. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. We get a lot of local talent. <laughs> so can you tell me what your role in this is? As my of... role? Can I say? Yeah, we can say. Uh, my role this year as host is basically Mandy is going to be sort of the starter of the show. And she's going to be the audience's mother. And she's going to come out. She's going to tuck you in, get you a glass of water, and make you go to bed. There's and then... nothing like my childhood. <laughs> 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 Stop playing video games and go to bed now. <laughs> Get your ass in bed. But, and then slowly, when things start to change, then the host comes out. Me, I will basically be the monster in your closet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the monster in the closet will take you on a journey through the world of nightmares. So if you're a monster in my closet, how do you get by all the piles of stuff? <laughs> like, I is it easy to part where you just like <laughs> shove over just... the giant pile of board games? I'm really small and nimble, all so yeah. I jump. Yeah. Like, you know. Leap over the board games, crawl under yeah, the laundry. It's, yeah. it's much yeah. less terrifying in an entrance when there's like a smash, <laughs> crash, <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Sorry, fall on sorry. your face. <laughs> yeah, that's my closet too. Actually, my closet's mostly comic books. Yeah. Awesome. That was sad to say. <laughs> It's okay, my, my closet is mostly camera gear. Oh, see, that at least though you're like, you're using it. I, I just have nowhere to put them right now, so they're in these massive bins. So. Oh, you're like an actual comic comic person? <sighs> I love trade. See, I love trade paperbacks. That, trades are better. Because you, you can, can read them. them. And shelves. Put yeah, them on a exactly. Nice shelf. Well, I showed you a shelf upstairs. That's all trades. Exactly, which is so much better. If these were things that I collected when I was a teenager. Yes, so, okay, right. They didn't. I'm old, so they didn't have a lot of trades <laughs> back then. Yeah. Yeah, cutting edge comic technology, trade paperbacks. Yeah, uh-huh. it's coming near you. <laughs> so, can you tell us about like a, one of the other stories from the other years? Yeah, definitely. I feel one of the ones that went over really well with audiences is the year we did Deal with the Devil, mm-hmm. where we had the framework being actually that was when you co-hosted as I well. Did. I co-hosted with uh, Tyler. Okay. Tyler James Nickel. Yeah. Full name. Mm. Yeah. Right. And the setup was basically we were a old fashioned tent revival. And Ooh, we had live wow, music. We had a that's live jug really band. Good. Yep. Really good. Yeah. We had um. Yeah. We had posters in the bathroom talking about if you wanted to get saved by Tyler. Yeah. Oh wow! You could have was, like snake oil funny. salesman yeah. stuff. Oh. He was more kind of like a Colonel Sanders sort of like white suit, yeah, like Texas bow tie thing. That's and really cool. He was the main host, and I was his co-host. I was like his little like. Yeah, they were like traveling Prodigy. preachers. Yeah. yeah, and everything had to do with the devil, so it was kind of like morality tales. Yeah. And we had a burlesque number where it was uh, Lucifer's fall from heaven, and then we had, oh god, what else did we have? We had uh, one of our magicians, uh, Travis Bernhardt, do basically, he was pulling people's sins out of their stomach. Yeah, psychic really, surgery style. Yeah, yeah, it was fascinating to watch. Cool. Well, I will totally put links below. Hopefully, you guys have a Facebook page that's public that I can link to. We do. And hopefully, I've managed to get a couple photos of the previous shows or the, the cover poster mm-hmm. so we can put that up. But I guess my last question is, we don't have very much time left. We only have about 25 seconds. Okay. Shauna, what would you do if you had like a huge budget? If I had a huge budget. Huge. Oh, more, I, pyrotechnics. <laughs> more pyrotechnics. More pyrotechnics. <laughs> Uh, super fancy lighting for our one magician, Alistair Crane, who always wants it, but we can't give it to him. Yeah. Massive props. Huge props. Put it at the Vogue. More fancy makeup. Professional fancy makeup. prosthetics. Like, like Ramstein level pyrotechnics? Yes. <laughs> Giant cock, like, <laughs> cannon. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Would that be for Sean or you? <laughs> you seem really attached Everybody. to that. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody ride big it. big dick. <laughs> that shoots things. Big yeah. demon dick. <laughs> Cool. Well, that, that's definitely a show that <laughs> might need to be done. Yeah. yeah. So if anyone wants to sponsor us. 
Thanks a lot. Yay. Cheers.